Welcome back to the Leander 98 channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this 2001 Mini Cooper base model on an XMOD Evolution chassis. This is not an OEM body and was custom made just for this chassis. This body was printed on my Anycubic Photon Mono X, printed in one piece in this orientation that you see here. Other than the wing mirrors, there isn't really any excessive overhangs that would cause some unnecessary support usage. Maybe just under the spoiler though. This video is also going to be utilizing the brand new FPV camera perspective as I film this and the 21 Cooper videos at the same time. So if by chance they're complete junk and we're not going to be using them after these videos, terribly sorry that this one uses the same format. But if by chance that happens to be good, well that's good. So we'll see how that plays out. The chassis being used in this video is going to be dubbed the Super Compact Chassis as it is a 90mm chassis with a 65 Mustang front clip. This allows cars with super short front ends and super short chassis to be able to fit on an RC car chassis. So, I'll end up taking it for a little spin. There isn't any, there isn't any OEM bodies that go along with this chassis setup. So. We well, got four custom ones to show off, two brand new ones and two old ones. So, how about we go for a drive? This episode of Body Show Reviews isn't sponsored, but I would like to give a shout out to a brilliant artist known as Hakasuka Works. Based out of Australia, he makes his living creating your dream ride in nostalgic cell shaded graphics. We found each other through this Seiko XS that he has created here. And I myself even got the Gina Special and asked for the City Turbo from Midnight Club 2. He offers commissions starting at 125 USD. Maybe just interested in seeing his museum of cars? Give his Instagram or Twitter a look at at Hakasuka Works.
I hate this car. Oh boy, I'm not ready for this one. Well, let's take a look at the time sheet. As we see, we only did 18 laps and we had a best of 8.316. The best is one surprise as I actually felt like this when we were keeping it on the track, I died. Now I'm alive again, but something else to die on is how pathetic that we did. We all had, I believe, what, four wrecks? Maybe even three, but still, it all happened pretty close together. But pretty much what happens is that due to the front, sh the front, the shortness of the front bumper on this, the front tire is able to catch the sidewall of the track, causing it to flip over really easily. And we did that quite a lot. Not to mention we had to go save the car just as many times. But, other than that, I mean, it ran pretty smoothly. We're 0.4 seconds slower than the modern Cooper. Even though this isn't an S, I highly doubt that trim package of a hood scoop and a different front bumper would have saved us the 0.4 seconds. So, with that in mind, newer, I guess, is faster. But, I'll see you in the next one. One last thing before we close here on this video, if you like the cars that you saw in this video, take a look at the link down in the description. It'll take you to my Cults 3D page where you can download the STL file for just $1. That $1 will get you a dummy chassis and the body in resin printing and FDM plastic printing as well. This way so that you can print it whether or not you have a plastic printer that you want to use for racing or maybe you got a resin printer that you want to use extra detail for. Either way your taste, you can download the car that you saw in this video today on my Cults 3D page that's down in the link in the description below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe for more RC driving content here. That's quite a different few different things that we do on this channel here, so I apologize if it's never one exact thing. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. lap and then immediate death.
I hate this car. <laughs> <laughs> 